What's going on guys? Welcome back to the House of Wrinkles. So today is Monday, November the 16th, and we got the girls here. All right, so Isabella went into heat Thursday, November the 5th, I believe it was. Uh, we've been monitoring her numbers, and that's actually what we're doing today. We're going back to check her numbers, and also Zoe surprised us and went into heat last Thursday, whatever that date was. I don't know. But anyhow, we took both of them. We wanted to go ahead and get a baseline number of what Zoe was. Both of them were 0 0.4. And you've got to be, uh, you have a certain range that you have to be before you do insemination. So what we're doing today is we're taking them down there. We're drawing their blood and we're sending off for a pedestrian test to see exactly what their numbers are. Um, and we'll we'll keep we'll update you once we find out it'll be tomorrow they send them off overnight now our normal vet they have it to where they check their check their pedestrian on site and that's the uh there's the system they use i can't think of the name i'll i'll put it i'll tell you what i'll look it up and in editing i'll put it right here that's the system they use and it's not as accurate uh, you get res uh, you get results right then, but it's not as accurate as sending it off and getting the actual numbers. Now, when we go to, when it comes to time, their numbers are close to, I think it's around 21. I have to, I'll have to talk with the, uh, with the reproduction specialist in Knoxville. I'm thinking it's between 19 and 21 is exactly where they want their numbers at. Uh, this is the first time we've done the surgical insemination, so it might be a little different. But we're going to try to keep you guys updated on everything. And we'll let you know what the numbers are following this. You ready to go, girl? You ready to go? I know it. I know it. All right, guys. So today is November the 19th. We got the numbers back from when was that? Was that Monday? Monday. No, you took them Tuesday. No, I took them Monday and got the numbers back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah All right. Yeah. So there we go. So we got the numbers, and Zoe was 0.5, and Isabella was 1.4. So, like I said, today is Thursday the 19th. We're taking them back, and we're thinking that Isabella is going to be ready. But they're loaded back up. Mama's taking them this time. Hey. hey. Say hi. Say hey, everybody. And then baby girl back there. Izzy. Isabella. Easy. Hey. All right. <laughs> but anyhow, so we're going to keep you guys updated. And uh, we're kind of thinking that that we're going to be making a trip possibly tomorrow or Saturday. But I guess you'll find out a lot sooner than we will because it'll be up next. Okay, so just a quick update. Um, as you know, we took the girls to the vet on Thursday. Uh, today is Saturday the 21st, right? 21st, yeah. So we got the results back from Thursday's visit yesterday. And um, Zoe's numbers were 1.6, so she's steadily climbing, so everything's looking good. Um, Izzy's number was still 1.4, which is what it was on Monday. So we're a little bit worried about it, but the vets seem to be okay. They're not saying that they think there's going to be a problem or anything. They still feel good about it. So that's good news, but me and Eric are still just kind of a little nervous because, I mean, we haven't successfully bred her yet. So we're just kind of uptight about it, but we're still hopeful. So um, we'll find out. I guess on Monday what their numbers were today. Um, FedEx doesn't run today, but the vet said that he would gonna drop it off at FedEx, hand deliver it himself. So, cause he knows how important this is to us. So uh, we're staying in touch with Knoxville. We're keeping you guys updated and um, hope to have some good news soon. Oh Lord, who wants to blow their horn? Yeah, hey, how are you? How was that? I don't know. All right, guys, so this is this week's video, and we're going to try to do a video and keep you guys updated. We're going to let you go through the whole process with us. Um, 
be sure to hit the bell button that way you're notified and y'all can follow the process with us as it's coming along uh, if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button and uh i guess that's it hopefully we will be taking them next week we're hoping it looks like it looks like we're probably going to possibly hopefully have two litters at one time uh, pretty much it's going to be it's yeah. going to be right there Their together. Their numbers are right there together right now. Yeah. So. And with our luck, it's going to fall on Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> that's that's just the way it goes. We'll probably have to take them Thanksgiving Day, but we don't know. We just it's mother nature. We let her take her course and we just have to we can't adjust it. We just have to go by what she says. Um what else? There's something else I was going to say. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, we was thinking about possibly going live on the way to, for the insemination. Um, if if y'all are interested in that, we would like to go live and just any questions you might have at that time, we could answer them at the best of our ability. So if if y'all think that's an option, if you guys would like to see us go live on the trip up there, uh, just l drop us a comment, you know, and if, you know, if two or three of you say, yeah, then that's, we just want to please everybody. So that might be something we can do. Anyhow, I guess that's it for this, this week's video and we'll follow up with you next week. Also, I'm going to throw this in too. Our way too cute Wednesdays is probably going to be for the next several weeks, the process of the girls, I might drop in some other Way Too Cute Wednesday, just normal videos, but uh, that's going to be a lot of the girls, and hopefully when the puppies get here, it'll be them also, but y'all ready to do this? You ready to do it, little girl? You're going to do it for us this time, ain't you? All right. We'll see y'all.